Bonjour to the monde. So I'm making you this video to make sure that you are 100% aware of what adjective agreement means in French and how to do it. And I'm really hoping that as you're watching this video, you're like, Madame, I know, I know, this is easy, we get it already. But just in case you're like, I have no idea what's going on, this is our last chance video. So of course, adjectives are describing words. So today we have me and we have my helper, Monsieur Met. Monsieur Met is obviously a guy, so all of his adjectives will be masculine. So let's describe Monsieur Met. He is charmant, Charming, core, short, vrai, true, and poli, polite. That's how we describe this guy right here. But what if you wanted to use all those adjectives to describe moi? I'm a girl, so these adjectives now have, have, have to be made feminine. How do we make any adjective feminine? We add an E. Remember the general rule, add an E for fee. So let's just add a bunch of E's in there. Ta-da! We have charmant, court, Vrai and poli. We just added those E's nice and easy, shove them in there. And pronunciation wise, um, if it ends in a consonant like one of these, that sound comes out for the girls. All the male adjectives sound very nasal, like you have a cold, charmant and court. Now for a female, for me, it became charmant and court. There you go. Now these, we added the E, but because it had a vowel sound right before, it didn't really change. Vrai, vrai, poli, poli. No change in pronunciation. So general rule number one, Add an E for fee for female adjectives or describing words. Now, what if the adjective already descends in an E? We have penibla, annoying, and sincere is sincere. Now, what do we do if it already ends in an E? We're not going to add another E because that's just weird. They already have one. So we're just going to leave it be. If it already ends in an E, let it be. So every single girl and boy are penibla, and every single girl and guy are sincere. No change for gender. All right. So round two, so rule two, if it ends with an E, let it be. But of course, there's kind of exceptions to that. So round three. We have the adjectives, occupé and réservé, busy and reserved. Like, you know, you're very mad at the fact. So these, they end in an E, but it's not like a regular naked E, it's an accented E. So for this one, we can add an E. That rule is kind of regular. So you can add an E if the one before it has an accent. So you only can't do it if it's a naked E. So rule three, beware of the ones with an E accent, you can't add an E. And last but not least, We've learned there are irregular adjectives in French. Um, I will give you one right now. So these. This is from earlier on in the school year, Canadien for Canadian, and then bon, which means good. Do you remember what we did for Canadian? It was special. It wasn't just an E. We added an N-E. You're going to get to realize there are a lot of exceptions to the rule. And then ends are another exception. So that's N-E. So here we have bon, B-O-N. It just means good. Do you know how to make that female? We can't just add an E because then it's bone. And that's a boneheaded decision to make. Ha ha. <laughs> God, maybe my husband laughed at that one. So what we do to bon, bon becomes bun. Ta-da. And that's our rules for now of making adjectives friend, uh, for making adjectives feminine. For the most part, add an E, except for those little bit of rules. There are a bunch of ones that break these rules. But for now, just know the only exception are the O-N ones that become O-N-N-E. And au revoir!